Hey y'all, today some of y'all gonna be real upset with this video, but I'm letting you know this is cool, everything is fine. I'm just letting you know that in advance because I know a lot of people on social media are very protective and they love our little piece. But I wanted to share this story because I think it affects everybody it, on all levels. Oh, and I also want to not really apologize because I'm not really sorry for nothing, but uh, just express that I'm not making a lot of videos and a lot of mindful stuff because right now I'm very focused and surrendering to the fact of being a mom and that takes a lot of energy for me that I don't really feel like giving out right now. Um, I'm very happy in the space that I'm in. So <laughs> look at my old chick. <laughs> so the other day I take peace to a birthday party and she is playing mermaids with her friends. You know, they're all just like pretending in the yard, playing around. And she has this one girl that's in her class that is what I call a dream killer. Peace comes up to me and she goes, mommy, so-and-so said that I'm not a mermaid. And you know, I, I can see she's very upset and she believes that she's a mermaid in these moments. And you know, deep down inside, I'm like kind of heated. Like, hold up, who told my baby that they're not a mermaid, you know? So I'm upset, but I'm not showing that I'm upset um, because I'm all about like visual visualization and just believing in something that you can't see, you know, whether and it doesn't even matter if it doesn't physically come to life. But if you feel like that, then that's how you feel. And that's all that matters. I pull her to the side and I get eye level with her and I'm like, baby, do you feel like you're a mermaid? And she said, well, yes. And I said, okay then, that's all that matters. Don't listen to somebody else's opinion on you just because they don't believe they're a mermaid doesn't mean that you have to start believing that you're not a mermaid. I said, as long as you think you're a mermaid and as long as mommy thinks that you're a mermaid, nobody else's opinion matters at all. It was in that moment that I realized being a mom is so important. And yes, it starts in the womb, but it is like an everyday process, especially around this age. She's about to be four in a couple weeks. And it's so important for me as a mom to always remind her that she's a mermaid. She is anything that she wants to be. And I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> because the world and society and life seems to think it's okay to tell somebody that they can and can't do something and it crushes that person's dream and it crushes that person's self-esteem crushes their courage and it leaves a lot of people stagnant and it leaves a lot of people hurt and it leaves a lot of people hopeless you know because somewhere along the lines from when you're first born out of your mother's womb to when you become this crazy adult and we have to undo a bunch of shit that society and our peers and people that we love and care about family members boyfriends girlfriends brothers sister people at some point put their insecurity on you and made you feel like you weren't a mermaid when yes you're anything that you want to be but it stops you from dreaming. We tend to walk through life with these heavy insecurities that have nothing to do with us. Like if you really reel it back into days and moments when you felt like somebody attacked you and told you that you're not good enough, that you're not pretty enough, that you're not qualified for this job, that was their own insecurity that they put on you. And I'm not saying that there's not room for improvement to make yourself better or whatever it is, but in that moment in time, it's damaging. It's so damaging to tell people that they can't do something. When you really look back at your life or look at your life now and the things that you're insecure about, think about it. They're usually because somebody else put them there and you're walking around with them as a burden and it has nothing to do with you and had everything to do with them. And more than likely, People are just expressing the way that they feel about themselves and putting it on you because they want you to feel like that too, which is bullshit. I have a challenge for you guys. And the challenge is to go back in time when the child in you or at any moment in your life where somebody made you feel super insecure about your biggest insecurity. And 
hug that child and tell that child you are good enough, you are pretty enough, you are a fucking mermaid. Go back in time and heal that child so that when you're going through life, I'm not saying everything is going to be eliminated, but what I am saying is when you have somebody that loves you and is in your corner and believes that you're a mermaid too, you're going to turn into a fucking mermaid dog. I'm letting you know right now, whether it be a mermaid at the Disney parade, in a movie, Broadway in New York, you're going to be that mermaid. So from this point forward, do it for peace. Wake up or at any moment in time when somebody tries to tell you that you're not inside of yourself, outside of yourself in a mirror as an affirmation. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm a fucking mermaid.